Well, good morning. Hey y'all, what's up? It's Helen. Welcome back to the channel. I'm looking for some chapstick. Oh well. So today we're gonna make us some French toast. I told y'all we're gonna make French toast. Um uh, and I'm gonna show y'all how I make it. So we're gonna get started. You know what? Let me make some coffee first. Yeah, let me make some coffee. So I wonder why my glasses are come coming off as a tint on here. They're not actually tinted. They are they're actually clear. I wonder why they come they are UV protection, but I wonder why they're coming off as a tint. Um, I got some new glasses I put on the gram. These are really cute. I like these. They come in gold and rose gold. These are the rose gold. I like these. But anyway, let's make some coffee together first. And then we're going to get us some. Um, we got some running to do today. I popped the nail. I don't even know how because all these are my nails. And then the, when I broke this nail, I had this one fixed. And it just popped out. But all these, you can tell these are this all me. I don't know what happened. But, um, shit, about that make some coffee. I got some cinnamon roll. It says ice cinnamon roll, um, uh, syrup. Let me show y'all. So I got some ice cinnamon roll syrup. It's really good, too. I get these tops from, um, Bed Bath & Beyond. They're like $1.99. So I got that in here. I'm gonna make me some coffee, some instant coffee, y'all. I'm cheating today. I just want a little something. I don't even need a lot. Just a little something. Maybe a little bit more of something. I'm gonna heat us up some almond milk real quick so we can get busy on making us French toast. I mean, this is a part of breakfast, right? Coffee. Coffee is definitely, oh, this one not even open. It's a part of breakfast. But like I said, I wanna run some errands, go to the thrift store, just do a few little things. While the other kids are at school, hang out a little bit, you know, a little something, something. Is it not on here? Did I not put it on? Oh, that's how I sit down there first. But anyway. I don't know why they look tinted. This is cool though. Uh, okay. I don't know. They do have like a, a mini tint to them. I don't know. I like them. I like, I put them on today because I'm wearing them today. I have already added my coins to the box. I like these. Uh, and they're metal. Y'all, they're all metal. They're not um, plastic frames. So, y'all already know that. Anyway, um, so shout out to everyone who uh, has supported me. I really do appreciate y'all. I sent y'all a thank you, a sincere thank you. And I really, really do appreciate you and thank you. Um, I know a lot of people ask about the glasses that look just like this, except for they're black. Then they have like the gold or they're red or white. So they'll be in on Monday. Hopefully Monday, no later than Tuesday, so I can get them up. And as y'all know, I'll do a community post and I'll come on here and do like a live with y'all and just show y'all what I got. You know, just hang out with y'all. We never, I've never done a live, so I don't know how to do it, but I'll Google it this weekend. And we'll do a live together. Let's add some cinnamon to this coffee. I usually add cinnamon and every blue moon uh, coconut oil. But uh, cinnamon will do. And then what else? What else? What else? So let's get to this French toast. Uh, let me know what you put in your French toast. Uh, if you make yours different from ours. And what are your favorite spices? Like do you use nutmeg, cinnamon? Like the vanilla, what do you use uh, for French toast? I've done a pineapple French toast before where I chopped up like the little pineapples like really good um, and kind of put them in like with the egg mixture and kind of made the pineapple French toast. That was so good. Um, I did a one too with the blueberries where you uh, cook the blueberries on the stove, put brown sugar, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of vanilla, stir it and let it like cook down and pour that on top. I shared that on Instagram. Matter of fact, let me show you a picture. Y'all, that was so, so good. That was like, so good. All right, let me show you this creamer. I'm on it, y'all. I'm on it. Look at that. Look at that froth on that almond milk. I don't know what people be thinking. They be like, girl, you can't put froth on almond milk. Shh. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Ooh, 
look at that. That's that goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I did a video. I edited it, and for some reason, my computer's not uploading it. Um, I made a um, banana bread yesterday. So why am I making French toast? Oh well. So anyway, let's start off with the bread. So this is the bread I buy from H E B. It's a really nice, thick size bread. Um, you can buy like French bread. I wouldn't buy like your regular white bread. <laughs> like, don't do that. I'm gonna take these glasses off. It look like sunshades, but they feel like regular glasses on me. But I wanted to show you how thick this bread is. So it's able to absorb like your mixture without breaking down on you. That's what you want. That's what's key. So let me wash my hands again. So let's get started. Garrick, you're gonna come uh, help with this French toast. So for the French toast, I need uh, vanilla. I use vanilla. I use cinnamon, a good grade cinnamon too, not the cheap 99 cent cinnamon. I get mine from the Indian grocery store. I'm probably gonna stop by there today because I want to update, like you know, refill my spices and stuff for the holiday season. So if I do, I'll let y'all know and maybe give y'all a sneak peek of that. But cinnamon, vanilla, and um, just a tinch of nutmeg. So I'm gonna need my grinder and um, and uh, get get that down. I hear crazy, but add some nutmeg. I just use fresh uh, nutmeg. So I'm going to have him cut up, break up all the eggs. That's what fresh nutmeg looks like. And just a little bit. So take, um, oh, and then we're going to use a dozen of eggs with um, one loaf of bread. So go ahead and put all of them in there. And then I'm going to uh, start adding to it. All right, let me get a measuring spoon because I never measure nothing. So I can at least say what we're doing. Oh, and brown sugar. I'm tripping. I do put brown sugar. So this is uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla to the 12 eggs. And I'm going to grind just a little bit of the um, nutmeg. Mm, this smells so good. This smells so good. Go ahead. <laughs> what? This smells good, huh? Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add um, one tablespoon of cinnamon. Well, we want the cinnamon brown sugar French toast. I had to make sure this cinnamon is almost look like cumin. Yeah, the one I put your first The first one, uh huh. Oh. That's I need to get some more. I should put the labels back on. What's the real one? Um, chili powder. Yeah, but it's real yeah, chili powder. Red, like yeah. it's hot, hot. Yeah, the redder it is, the let you know it's hot, hot. Because the brown sugar tastes good when it, um, like, caramelized on there. Mm -hmm. Get the, um, the whisk from over there. The other whisk. So, let me do a, uh, half a cup of this sugar right quick. This brown sugar in here. Come on, brown sugar. Second. All right, and then when you get down to that, pour it in this pan right here so we can dump the bread in there. We're going to pour it in here so it can be a flat surface for us to use for the um, bread. So I'm going to put the bread in here and just let it sit for a few seconds. If y'all want to, because y'all can have these, huh? Yeah, I can. I can look at the air fryer. Put no meat on there for all those things. No, that's thin. It's thin. Your dorm room is thin. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna turn it over just for a few minutes and um, uh, I'm gonna grab something. So 
need to put my hand in there. Oh, is it hot? I don't even have it on. Oh, God. So, now that it's warm enough. Can you start putting it up? You wash your hands like you said it dry? Yeah, you're welcome. Oh. Uh -huh. Good. Put two in there. I'm going to let them cook on each side. About a couple minutes on each side. About two minutes on each side. Two and a half minutes. If your pan is hot. <laughs> oh, here. You're going to have to flip them. And I'm going to do this part. So I'm going to move this out the way. <coughs> and then I have a plate ready. So when I'm done, I'm just going to put them on here, let them cool. And then I know me bag them and put them in the freezer, but they'll probably eat some this morning. And then, uh, yeah, but I know me bag them and freeze them. So I have two loaves and two dozen of eggs. So I'm just going to show you how to make one before you put it like over here. Yeah. But you see how much it absorbs? That's why I can't yeah, leave it in there long the because then it I won't have enough for like the rest of the, the bread. Mm -hmm. But the bread is so big, I don't have to worry about it being soggy and falling apart either. Yeah, you make some at the school for us. Mm hmm. All right, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you how to put them in a toaster when they're frozen. You put them in a toaster and they toast up and they'll crisp around the edges. That's what that looks like. So let's make us a um, blueberry topping. If you let them cool, then you can go ahead and um, put them in with the parchment paper between each one, throw them in a Ziploc and then put them in the freezer. In the morning, you get up when they're um, frozen. And I'm going to show you. They fit just fine. Um, it's hot. And the toaster. And normally the kids just toast them. Um, they heat up. It kind of just really heats it up from being frozen. That's all it does. And they normally eat them in the morning. But let me show you the blueberry um, mixture that I make for... I'm doing this side. Well, the light's over there, too. What's going on with the light? The blueberry mixture I make for the topping. Let's make the topping real quick. Uh-huh. I'm going to use this one. So, I just have a uh, ceramic. Is this? What is this? Not ceramic. What is this called? This is cast iron. Um, a cast iron pot. And give me a measuring cup so I can actually measure it. Like for, here go one right here. I can measure it for real, for real. So I have a bag of blueberries that I think they were on sale at one point. Like, uh, I want to say they were 79 cents. And I bought like a bunch of these. Or 69 cents in all these. And I just froze them. So I'm going to do a, um, two cups of the frozen blueberries. Oh, they big? Good Lord. I know. Look how big they are. <laughs> They're huge. They might swell up on the street. No, they're going to, um, like, go down some. When they oh, when they freeze? Yeah, right. Oh, because they're holding all the, yeah. the water or whatever. And I'm going to use about um, two tablespoons of uh, brown sugar. <laughs> two tablespoons. Probably not two tablespoons. But oh well. And then let's put some butter in here. I'm just going to use a, a smidgen of this butter. What is this? A tablespoon of butter? Probably not. Probably two tablespoons. Or close to. Close to it. It's close. Yeah, put that in the freezer. And what happened to the vanilla? Did it get rid of it? Okay. Alright, so then I'm going to add just a little bit of vanilla, like a teaspoon. That fingernail looks horrible. That fingernail looks horrible. And add a little preservative to it. Some lemon juice. Now, this is definitely like a teaspoon. You don't need a lot of this. This is so that if we put it in the container, it'll still be good. And uh, that's what it looks like so far. Brown sugar, a little vanilla, some butter, and these blueberries. And you're going to let it cook itself down. It's going to um, 
the blueberry is gonna produce its own moisture because I can't I can't zoom in on the front lines. Yeah, I I mean they've been eating them. They must have been eating and sneaking them because they've been yeah. going down. I mean, um, so it's starting to like turn itself into like almost like making jelly. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, like making jelly. We, we make fig jam. Jam, yeah. Yeah, we make fig jam at home. Fig jam? Mm -hmm. It's kind of spicy. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. I like figs, but why would it be spicy? You mean like spicy like... It's like a... Like a, a nice pepper... Not, um, fig and something. So not spicy like hot spicy, but spicy like nutmeg spicy? Like yeah. um, all spice spicy? Mm -hmm. But it, 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 it's fig with something. It's not just fig. Oh, okay. I've seen them making them. We got fig trees and we got orange trees. Orange trees can grow this way. Oh, wow. One year they didn't grow, so we was just sitting there looking crazy. But then the next year, like okay. it, it went off schedule. I think they say it grow every other year anyway. Oh, okay. But See how it's starting to like. In the Make into like a. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to thicken it up, say you break down these, right? And you want to thicken up, you add uh, cornstarch. You add, um, I don't have none, I think, of what I'm thinking, of what I can't think of what it's called right now. To, to thicken it up a little bit. Oh, I have a corn starch. Okay, put, put a, uh, a little water with this. Add a little water. Oh, shit. I'm tripping. This is way too much. Make it make sense of corn, bro. I'm gonna use like a teaspoon of cornstarch. This might be more than a teaspoon. This might be more. Add water to this and stir it. And then I'm gonna add it to here to thicken it up to make a syrup. So I don't know if the young lady follows me on Instagram that, that follows me, no, the opposite. I don't know if she follows me on YouTube that follows me on Instagram. So she asked me about how to budget for groceries. How do you pay for groceries for like us? Like so a family of four, cause like the oldest not here. So we're gonna say a family of four, right? Um, this is a perfect example, like perfect example. It cost me, it cost me, um, a dollar for the bread. The bread is a dollar 19 at H-E-B, right? Two packs of bread. I don't know how many slices in there. Uh, maybe 15 slices. Um... So a dollar fifteen for bread, seventy nine cent for eggs, right? Sixteen. Sixteen slices. 16. Okay. So sixteen slices of bread, right? This is hot. Sixteen slices of bread. I don't need to pour no. No, this is good. So you add water to cornstarch first in order to thicken up anything. Don't ever just put cornstarch in what you're cooking. It's gonna be nasty. <laughs> Let me show you. So I'm just gonna pour just a little bit. Just a little bit, because I don't know. Let me turn this down first of all. Before I burn. So that was like a teaspoon and then some water. A teaspoon until you get it thin, like like thin milk, like 2% or 1% milk. I'm gonna show you the magic of this. Well, you can use it's like magic. Huh? Yeah, cream of tartar. That's why I couldn't think of what it's called. Cream of tartar or cornstarch. And now you can see how you can, once it's settled, it's going to be like um, jelly. Like a thick blueberry syrup. Kind of like, you see that? It look good. I look good. Good love. My mouth started watering. Jesus. Please stir in just a little bit of time. And that's how you make your own. Now I'm gonna turn it off and let it set for a few minutes. And then you wanna make your plate and pour it on there. I can show them. And then I'll talk to them about um, just example like now of how you save money. You know, cooking at home, buying your own groceries and cooking. I wrote a picture on that just now. Oh, did you? Mm hmm. Huh. You gonna get a, uh, that's fine. This grab, uh, yeah, grab a, a couple of them so we can top it real quick. That's all you want? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So let me get this thing so I can pour it on here. I don't know if 
thick and put it on this side, yeah. But this, so they can see how thick it is. You want more than that? Mm-hmm. Oh, that look good. Good Lord. I'm hungry. Ooh. I'm intermittent fasting. It's 11 o'clock. I don't get to eat till 11.30, so I'm going to make me a protein pancake. But for example, um, I would say, I'm trying to get that sun out. It tastes good? Mm-hmm. It look good. Let me see. Get a thumbnail picture. Dang, it look good. Um, so I would say, um, one, buying groceries and cooking at home. Two, not buying packaged food. Like junk packaged food, like those big boxes of uh, Doritos, Lay's, and all that stuff. They add up. They're like 15 bucks a, a box. And a lot of times, the kids don't eat all the chips. It's the variety of the chip. The or they get tired of like the Fritos. Or we buy the Sun Chips. They don't want the, the plain yeah, Sun yeah, Chips. Yeah, no, or... It's always something. So I just say to buy the chips they like and then bag them. And then take the bags, turn them inside out, wash them and reuse them. Or put them in containers if you don't want to use bags. Um, and then for a perfect example today, 16 pieces of bread for $1.15. Uh, one carton of eggs for $0.79. Cents. So that's $2. Um, and then I use... Oh, we didn't even pour milk in there, did we? We're supposed to put milk in there. I forgot to put oh, milk in there. We supposed to put a splash of milk in it. We need to put the milk to make the stretch. All right, so you can make that stretch by adding milk. This is a bad video because I ain't tell them to add milk. So I'll go back and I'll put it at the bottom, like the actual recipe, like for French toast. Um, everybody has cinnamon and vanilla around the house, right? That's kind of like something you just kind of put in there. You don't have to put nutmeg. You don't even have to do these berries if you don't want to. Throw syrup on top. Syrup is a dollar. Um, all these sales serve for like a dollar something. Hey, Kroger's even have a syrup that don't have any fructose corn syrup for like a dollar ninety nine. Um, so let's say like five dollars, you can make sixteen pieces of French toast. Um, freeze them, and if you got a family of four, right? So that's four pieces of bread. If they eat two a day, that's two breakfasts. That's two days of breakfast, huh? They think so. Don't eat that much. You don't eat that much. So that's two. Pieces a person. What is that right? It's four people. I don't eat that. But if it's four people and they eating it, they get two days. They get two days if they all eat. So you get two breakfasts. Okay, so right, look, I'm all over the place. But it's cheap. Okay, for and then I buy food when it's on sale. So they yeah. had blueberries on sale for sixty nine cents. I bought them. They just been in the freezer. And I just added a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of vanilla, and brown sugar, and you got your own blueberry syrup. I don't have to pay $5 for a, a jar of syrup. Now, I got all this left in here that I could put in a container for either now or later. Or Look at this. It's like jelly. And it took me five minutes to make. You know, the eggs is cheap, too. Yeah, eggs is really cheap. Ridiculously cheap right now. Um... People, most people have eggs and milk at home. You know what I mean? And then bread. It's up to you to kind of like sweeten it or not sweeten it. Um, another way of saving money is writing down your menu. So, y'all know I use a uh, personal planner. I use a personal planner. I have, an, I have actually several of these planners. <laughs> I'm just saying. YouTube planner, personal planner. And like, I'm going to give you an example for this week. This week was uh, turkey legs with rice and green beans, chicken spaghetti, which y'all saw me make that. I guess y'all saw me because the video is not coming up. Um, I was supposed to do fried rice. Uh, today is burritos with chip salsa. Burritos is easy. Tortillas. You can do black bean or you can do bean and cheese. You don't even have to buy the meat. You can save money. Real easy on making a big huge pot of beans in like a pot or a pressure cooker and just smash them yourself throw them in the, in the um tortilla with like with beans rice cheese or whatever some peppers or some onions and you can make burritos and you can make enough to freeze them those are good for freezing too wrap them up and kids can warm those up um and then saturday was leftover day whatever they wanted like leftover day I was trying to see today for lunch they had a uh, salad with the chicken strips, the grilled chicken, the, the crispy chicken strips. Mm -hmm. um, but it's easy, soup and salads, spaghettis. So I buy spaghetti when it's on sale too, and then it's up to me to make the red spaghetti, the chicken spaghetti, or the 
Puesto. Yeah. The Puesto butter noodle spaghetti. You know what I mean? So, or you can buy like a lot of chicken shredded, cook it, and use it for chicken tacos, um, chicken on your salads, chicken in your chicken spaghetti. Like it's it's ways to stretch your food and stretch your dollar. Chicken stew, real cheap. Chicken stew, right? Even that um, stuff people eat. What's that? Like that roast stew or whatever. What's that? The beef stew, beef, beef stew, beef stew. Right. Stew. They throw it all in there. They throw everything in the refrigerator from carrots to potatoes. You can pay five dollars for I would say like eight dollars. Cause how yeah, much is beef? Going bad. That's when you put in the stew. Uh, what is a roast? Like if you buy like a roast, you get roast for like six dollars, six fifteen, six twenty nine or something. So like ten bucks, you can make a roast stew, a beef stew for your whole family. Like it's it's ways to save money. Whereas if you went out to eat, you would spend ten, twelve dollars a plate, <laughs> and in a couple of hours they tell about they hungry. So that's why I like to make food at home so we can have leftovers, and then they can eat like you know whenever they want to eat. But right now I'm gonna make me a. a you call this a protein pancake. You really save one of you real big rice eaters. Right, Everything. right. People like rice. Yeah. Right, yeah. I, I ain't gonna do rice. I, I'm too big for rice like that. I can't eat rice like that every day. I gotta eat rice for every meal. Yeah. Because rice is cheap. You cook yeah. rice. Rice and, and pasta is cheap. You can chop up pasta. Man, we used to put, we used to make pasta and put chili in it. We used to do all kinds of stuff back in the day. The egg noodles, I didn't know they get super soft, so it turned into one big Right. Noodle. I got a bunch of them. Y'all can take them back, too. I, I got them back in there, too. I, I left them in the thing too long, and they get, they just... Yeah, you got to cook egg noodles for like two, three minutes, and that's it. Mm -hmm. It was crazy to the thing. I mean, it was good. Oh, it was still good? Just a second. Mm. All right, so I buy the... Uh, Protein pancake mix from all these. It's like the Cody egg cakes, but it's not. It's called something else. I don't even know what it's called. But I, I love these pancakes. Like, literally. All right, we're going to pull out the grill. So we can, so I can have some grilled pineapples, because, oh, I like grilled pineapples. I don't even know if this pineapple is sweet or good or not. Got this one from Aldi's yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday. Normally, I just like to grill a pineapple and then I like put it up <laughs> in a container. So whenever I want it, I go in there and get the pineapple. That's what I do. All right, this video is going to be long, y'all, because we just chilling today. We vlogging and chilling. It's kind of light. It's kind of light, but... Um, it's gonna bring out the juices when we use the uh, grill. I'm gonna wipe down the grill right quick. I don't remember what was last on here. Probably pineapple. It's either pineapple or salmon. That's the only two things we grill around here, so. All right. So. I like pineapple spears. Sometimes I use the um, the cutter for the pineapple sometimes, but I just like the spears. I don't know. I just like what I like, I guess. You know, everybody's different. Yeah, so the inside isn't all that sweet. You can tell already, but it's all good. It's still pineapple. And we're still going to put this thing on the grill. Pineapple cook. Why do these look like sunglasses? I cannot get over that. These look like sunglasses. Oh, well. She's going to wear them as regular glasses. So get over it. Y'all going to see these. Uh, if you're asking where I got it from, y'all already know. I got it from my, my IG. Um, y'all like my little top? I remember I showed y'all this top from um, Walmart. I've been wearing this top like all the time. I need to find, they had the white one like this with the rose gold. Look at that, my rose gold match. I'm tripping, I didn't even play that. But my, the white one has gold, I think. Or maybe it's rose gold, but I can't find like the bottoms to go with the white ones. But this one easy, because I can wear it with, it's black, I'm wearing it with anything. We only have, um, we only have like two and a half hours for I to get Christopher from school. I don't know what we're going to do today. I wanted to go to thrift store, but obviously, we're not going to make it. Because we're supposed to do all that for the kids got out of school. 
Y'all, this coffee is so good. I have to put that over. I'm almost about to burn my stuff. We got we got to plate my food now. Come on, now. she she done made it all the way to eleven twenty. I did good. So here's my protein pancake. Let's get some pineapples on here first. Just put a few pineapples on here. Woo! you don't need no syrup. I'm telling you, you don't need no syrup when you do this. Forget that syrup in the bottle. Mm, mm, mm. So, that's my breakfast. <laughs> that's my breakfast. I thought I'm burnt, but it is what it is. It happens. It happens. Yeah, I'm about to go because I need to see what's taking this uh, video so long to um, upload. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know how people don't eat at home. Like, I just don't get it. How people can go out and pay for food all the time. Like, who don't want to eat at home and then come back if you're still hungry and have this left over? Mm, mm, mm. I didn't chew it, I just swallowed it. You saw that? I'm worse than my kids. <laughs> All right, let me go so I can check on this video, see why it's not uploaded. I'm kind of disappointed. Well, um, I gotta do the little giveaway picker thing so we can see who won the, um, what you call those bags, the organizers for the purses. Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. So good. I don't like syrup anyway. If you like syrup, you might not like this, but I'm more of a agave person. But you can make this actually sweeter and thicker and blend it to be like a more of a syrupy texture. And then you can just scoop off the, add, the added extra blueberries. I ain't scooping off nothing, girl. I'm eating all this. So... I will see y'all on the next video. Hope you're having an amazing weekend. We hope we have us some fun this weekend. I don't know what we're doing. Mm -hmm. They already scared of movie night and popcorn and candy night. So we know we're going to do that. Um, I don't know. We're supposed to go thrift shopping and hang out. But I don't know what we're doing. We'll see. We'll vlog some so y'all can hang out with us for sure. I do need to go to Dollar Tree. Because uh, Garrett got a cat. And um, let me show you a picture of Dot. <laughs> and he said right before he left, Dot had his uh, toothbrush. So I didn't go get a toothbrush right quick. I'm so rude. I'm going to go. I'll see y'all next video. Hope you have an amazing weekend. Thank you for watching. Shout out to all the new subscribers. I have a giveaway coming real soon. I kind of gave you a sneak peek when I gave you a sneak peek of my tree. Um, I tried it last night. Garrett tried it this morning. He was like, man, I really like this. So I'm thinking like, okay, because at first I was disappointed in a feature. And I'm going to tell you what the feature is. And then I realized like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. Um, and then I used it again a few, like a few minutes ago before I started filming. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm good now. <laughs> so I'll share with you all my thoughts and make sure that... Um, that giveaway goes up real soon because I'm going to post that for the week coming so we can have a giveaway for the next week. Uh, and that should be pretty fun. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Have an amazing day. Peace and blessings.